Good morning. <laughs> what blows my mind is that there are parents who are scared of their kids listening to rap music because they're scared that that's going to pollute their mind. When really all they got to do is watch one of these beauty gurus on YouTube and don't do the same shit. What's good? Welcome back to the channel Chrissy Talks. Y'all come with Chrissy beauty gurus. Let's talk about it. Now in this video we are going to be talking about Tati Westbrook, James Charles, Shane Dawson, and Jeffree Star. If you do not know all of them that is okay. If you know one of them then you'll be fine because they are all a bunch of lying ass niggas. Now Tati Westbrook aka Tatiana Westbrook is a makeup artist, internet personality, and a YouTuber. She is saying that she has been manipulated by other beauty guru YouTubers Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star over her canceling James Charles last year in a big feud that they had on YouTube. So we gonna, we, so we gonna take a step into the past and talk about that real quick before we get into this video that she posted last night. Bro, I do not know how to say beauty guru. Guru? Guru. Like, now last year in April, 19 year old beauty guru James Charles was supporting a vitamin brand called Sugar Bear, which was Best Brooks top competitor. Keep in mind, James Charles is basically the mentee of Tatiana Westbrook. She literally took him under his ring and made him popping in the YouTube world. So they was close. They was you know, they was friends and they were cool until this happened when he started supporting somebody who was going against her brand. I'd be mad if, you know, someone's supporting someone who's going against me. At the same time, I want to support my friends getting their bags, but yeah, it's like, okay, you could just support me. So I can understand her anger and her sense of betrayal, but she ended up posting a 40 minute long video talking about not only him supporting Sugar Bear, but saying that he was using his fame to aggressively come out to men, which is, this is a serious allegation. You're not really saying that he's like sexually assaulting people, but you're saying that he's in a way assaulting and manipulating men and like reeling them in using his fame and fortune. And in her video, she also does explain a whole situation where they were going out to eat and he was being kind of aggressive and flirtatious with the waiter who was serving them so she was she was kind of outing him for all this shit mind you i'm one of those people who don't like when anybody try to disrespect no raiders so if you're over here like being sexual and aggressive with the waiter that's a whole other issue that i don't understand why she didn't say anything in because it's like if this is your mentee why aren't you mentoring him? Like, why aren't you guiding him? It's not even just the fact that that's her mentee, but you're bringing him into this whole lifestyle of a YouTube world, the beauty guru world. Like, you introduced him into this in a way. So if you're going to bring somebody into this lifestyle, you got to show them not only how to maneuver in that lifestyle, but how to act. In the case that he's using his fame, he's using this power, he's letting it get to his head. It shouldn't even have gone to his head if you're the one who's truly guiding him into this world that you were already living in. I'm not saying it's like her responsibility to look after him as a child or whatever, but I'm saying as someone who's his big sister, like as someone who is in his life and is close to him and all that crap, like at least have a conversation with the man before you let these people get into your head but we are about to get to that first of all just imagine being a 37 year old feuding with a 19 year old beauty guru on youtube like this is seeming like the youtube whitish type version of love and hip-hop because of her allegations james charles lost three million subscribers on youtube and she gained four million imagine that she literally snatched all of his subscribers and gains a million more off of this video where she's throwing her friends under the bus. How lovely. Like, it's not even based off of her content. It's not based off her. It's based off of all of this drama and her being a snake-ass bitch. Because, I mean, I understand that in a way she could have been looked at as, oh, she's doing something good. She's exposing him, whatever, whatever. But it's like... It seems like you didn't even have a conversation with the man before you did all of this. Like, it was just straight up trash and some stink shit. But shit, she gave 4 million subscribers that we do your thing. But she did receive backlash for making a whole video about it after the fact that it was starting to impact her business. Because if somebody like James Charles who became influential, if they're supporting a vitamin brand opposite of Tati Westbrook's and is a direct competitor, she's technically losing money because people who eat his ass are going to buy those vitamins instead of Tati Westbrook. Westbrook. So they were like, okay, you put out this whole video after he started supporting Sugar Bear. He didn't feel the need to say anything 
to him or to us or expose or make this whole video until that started happening. A YouTuber putting out a video because it's starting to affect their business. That doesn't sound like anything. They will not make videos on certain topics, on certain issues, unless it starts to affect their brand, their business, their money, their subscriber count, whatever the case. Nothing is important until that starts to happen. Because let's face it, that's the only time they speak out against something. So as a result of this, Jim Charles lost millions of subscribers. He lost brand deals like Sephora. And he lost celebrity support like the Kardashians. So he really lost a lot. This is somebody who straight up messed with his money. Like this is someone who straight up posted one video and fucked with his bag. It's so petty that these celebrities, not even celebrities, but these known people be doing this shit. Like you really, oh, it's so petty because I could not imagine be, oh, listen, I would have to beat your ass. I would have to beat your ass. And if you grown enough to make this video about me, I'm going to beat your grown ass. I will do that because what? Now James Charles came out with a 41 minute long video. These bitches with these 40 minute long videos defending himself saying he, he came with the receipts mind you. He came with the text messages including with the conversations between him and that waiter. He was saying that he was a 19 year old virgin. He never manipulated anybody let alone use his fame to do so. So after this video he gained back 1 million subscribers and Tati lost 250,000 subscribers. Crazy that as known people and as somebody who helped bring up James Charles you're really going to tarnish him. Just speaking about this and seeing how fucked up this was regardless on them all being wrong in the situation or them all I don't I mean I don't know to what extent James Charles is wrong. I kinda just see all of these people as the same. Like I don't trust none of these beauty gurus. They could both be shitty people, but if that is your real life friend, like that is somebody that you really guided into this world, then regardless, like in terms of loyalty, in terms of friendship. And in terms of being a grown ass woman, it just doesn't make any sense. So James Charles coming out with this long ass video explaining his like emotional trauma because of all this and him bringing out the receipts. It made Tati look bad and then she issued a whole statement on her not continuing to respond to this feud. Now according to Tati's new video that she posted last night, that is about this situation that happened last year. She's saying that she was manipulated by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star to make this video to cancel James Charles, to say all this terrible shit. Let's, let's talk about the manipulation now. So in this video Tati explains how in December of 2019 last year she met up with James Charles, they reconciled, they apologized, they met face to face did all this and then they started to exchange text messages audio whatever everything that they had between them and Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and they realized that they were being bullshitted they were being manipulated they realized this in December of 2019 mind you mind you pay attention to when these things are posted when these things are happening and the timing of everything because I'm looking at this like you posted this First of all, you posted this now, random ass time, but you also posted this right after Shane Dawson was like being ridiculed for his resurfaced video of Philo Smith and himself. In this video, she starts off saying like, there's so much going on in this world, there's so much going on on YouTube, and all I'm thinking about honestly is justice for Breonna Taylor, like arrest the cops who killed Breonna Taylor because that's probably the reason why I'm just like, if you bought this video because it's like, none of this matters, like none of this shit matters, this fake ass love and hip-hop type drama on YouTube. It's like, are we serious right now? Like, are we for real? I'm just hoping like this tears a big ass hole in the beauty guru. That's, that's what I'm hoping for because at the end of the day, these are people who have been exposed for making racist comments, pedophilia type comments, um, sexual type assault comments. Like, these are people who feed into the issues that are what's wrong in this world today and that we are facing in this world today. So I'm gonna make this video and in hopes I'm just as comes out of all of this in terms of people who have power who are like them. So yeah, she says back in December 2019 when they exchanged text messages between each other, her and James Charles with what they had between Shane and Jeffrey, it seemed like they were manipulating her. That's weird. She goes on to say that she never called James Charles a predator. That's a lie because you might have not outright called him that but you definitely painted a picture that he was one. She says that she never made the video over the vitamins. That's a lie. That might have not been the outright reason 
but that was definitely the motivation behind that video of you canceling James Shaw. If you're saying that this isn't the reason, that was definitely the big ass push into doing all of this stuff. Because once again, let's face it, these YouTubers don't address these issues until it starts affecting their money. Now she says that she was poisoned by Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star saying that, that they told her that James Charles has a lot of victims coming out to speak against him, saying that he was a monster, saying that he was doing all these crazy ass things, assaulting these victims. I'm sorry, I just need to point out Shane's reaction really quick. Insane. This is insane. This person literally, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, sorry, keep pressing play. I need to get through this video so I can fucking, oh my god. As a victim of abuse myself, Oh my god. Terrifying. You are so manipulative. To think of facing public You're fake you're fake crying. You are fake crying! You are fake crying! That is not real! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was molested. I have been oh, oh my god. That is not I made no mention of it in my video. Oh my god. Get off. The night before posting my video by sister, oh my god, I texted Shane sharing my concerns for James Charles that he was out of the country on the high floor of a hotel and I was afraid. Not only was this funny, because he's literally acting like a child. He's acting like a five-year-old girl in kindergarten who snitched out somebody who stole her animal crackers. Now, this is funny as hell, but the only reason why someone would get that mad is either A, because, like, she's lying out her ass, or B, she's telling the truth. See how he's acting is like... You know, he's just got too much shit going on. He said, like, I do not need this shit. Oh my God, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Tiger King. Oh my God, they're pointing at each other like the Spider-Man. Like, y'all all are bad. Y'all all are doing bad. It doesn't matter who's doing the worst. Y'all all need to go. That is hilarious. These people are really nothing but Joe Exotics and Carol Baskins. What the fuck? But the difference is I fuck with Tiger King. I cannot get into all this. Now, Jeffrey has rightfully not said anything in response to all this because if I were him, I would not. But I'm sure he's giving it a little bit of time before he, he speaks out. I feel the same way about James Charles. I think eventually they're gonna speak out, but their publicists are like... Ugh. In this video, Tati Westbrook also issues an apology to YouTuber Jackie Anna, and that's because she's saying that, like, she... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> so she's apologizing to Jackie, talking about, I should've never ignored the signs, I should've listened to you, da 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 Okay, I'm gonna say that Tati's grown probably about a million times in this video. Cause, like, she could literally be my parent. And she's acting so damn dumb. She's acting like she's a child who got manipulated. I don't get it. Because Jeffrey and Shane's racism has been rather blatant. They've had several exposure on all of that shit. So it's not even just like you're simply apologizing to Jackie and Anna. Like, you need to apologize to your own ignorance. Like, you need to apologize to your own damn self that you let yourself fall into this ignorance as you're claiming. And what's crazy is that she would rather sit here, allow herself to look dumb enough to get manipulated instead of just being real about everything because I'm sure this is not the full 100% truth. I feel like this is something that she's in on with them to have gained the subscribers, to have gained money, to gain more fame, whatever the case, to get money that she might have lost off of Sugar Bear and James Shaw's support for them. I'm sure she did this and had some some type of or some extent of malicious intent to have done that because she really tarnished someone's image and you don't just do that to do that you don't she didn't just do that because she was a good person if that was the case she would have been put out a video if she did that because it was starting to affect her so i'm looking at her sideways like girl by a lot of people like her do they will often try to be the victim and blame other people and to take that stance and be seen as dumb and, and regardless, we know you're lying and still see you as dumb. It's just crazy. Like, you would rather be labeled as a victim who was manipulated instead of owning up to your shit and being the grown woman that you are. I think it's to say that she couldn't have been naive in this situation. There was no room for her to be naive. Everybody knows what they have done in their past. Even everybody now who spares their supporters and didn't know, it's just like, how do you not know? How? How in the world does nobody know what they have said and done in their past. 
there is no absolutely no way especially if you're working with the person especially if you're in the same field with the person and you're doing videos with the person and you're hanging out with the person you don't care to see the type of person they are and I understand that the internet paints a picture as well so you gotta see for yourself but it's like I'm sure she has seen for herself. These upcoming parts had me dead. So she was saying that every day, Shayna and Jeffrey would feed her so much information about James. Like they were obsessed with James. They were jealous of James. They were trying to bring him down. Now get this, get this. It was just so much that her mental health was starting to decline. She was scared for her life. She felt like she was being tormented. She couldn't live in her house. She was scared. Fraternity issues. Her business was declining. Oh my God. All this stuff. Okay, all this. All this <laughs> did all that. This is literally the type of shit you say when you're trying to sue somebody. Sue somebody out of your ass. Because what I'm trying to understand is how the fuck do you let somebody else, how do you let these men manipulate you like this over your mentee, over your friend? You have somebody spewing all this stuff in your ear. So, okay, so you ignored everything. You ignored all the videos and all the evidence pointing out the type of person that Jeffrey and Shane are. But you didn't ignore all the things that Jeffrey and Shane put into your head over someone that you actually knew in real life. Make it make sense. Like, I'm not even mad at you. Just make it make sense. Just make it the least you could do is make it make sense. Because they really do think and they move around like they feel like we're dumb and we don't see through all of this stuff. And what sets you off to make a video is him supporting another brand but not the victim speaking out. You didn't wait for the victims to speak out. You didn't speak to any of these victims. You just... You just let them into your ear like this. Now, I'm not saying that any of this couldn't have happened because I am sure, I, like, I would not be surprised how evil shit is behind the closed doors because we've seen some evil shit in the spotlight. So I couldn't imagine, like, what, like, the lies, the amount of lies, the amount of death threats, just the amount of things that they do for the money and the fame and to keep that good image because their whole life is thriving off of social media. People like them are obsessed with looking good for the camera, literally. Not even just like my face is beat type shit, but like literally having a whole fake facade, a whole persona to look good on camera. And that's tiring. Like, honestly, isn't it tiring being a fake ass bitch? We have a whole corporate world who does that. But you being a fake ass bitch, every time someone sees you on camera, in public, your fans, your supporters, that has to be tiring. Like, that literally is a whole other job in itself to be a fake ass bitch as much as y'all be. I just gotta say, throw the whole beauty guru community away. Throw it all away. Throw it all away. And I don't mean throw the whole thing away, but these people who are at the top who are taking over the community, they need to be thrown the fuck away. Like, I need to see more black, beautiful beauty gurus. I need to see more unproblematic beauty gurus. I need to see more beauty gurus who actually do makeup on their channel. Like, I don't watch beauty gurus, but I will stand the hell out of it if these niggas are no longer in it. They lie, they're drama, and they're literally everything besides makeup. Like, these are not honest people, and YouTube literally sits back and watches them while they make money together. It's a problem for me to make a video about Black Lives Matter because it's so sensitive, but all these beauty gurus and all these other famous white YouTubers can make these videos that involve racist shit, pedophilia shit, and sexual shit, and it's okay. People love to pick and choose who to support and what truth to listen to, especially when it comes to their favorite rapper, celebrity, YouTuber, whatever the case, but they just all need to be canceled. They just, they just all need to go. They all need to go. They all need to go. But I'm very interested to see what James Charles or Jeffree Star plays out. Because at this point, all this stuff is just entertaining. I'm not taking any any of this seriously. And let's just watch them hopefully fuck each other over. Because at this point, I guess the only people who could destroy them besides us in reality is them themselves. So... But that's the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoy. Comment down what you guys think. Do you guys think that Tati Westbrook is lying? Do you guys think that she was in on everything with Shane and Jeffrey? Do you guys think Jeffrey and Shane was even the ones to be manipulating her? Do you guys think James Charles did anything in the wrong? Comment down what you guys think below. Follow me on Instagram at iWestNotChatterH.Christy to s s I love and appreciate you guys. Stay safe and stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, she the girl. Oh, yeah. She the girl. She the girl.